Hello. Hi, Seer. Cross code. In the last part, we, uh, finished another segment of that, uh, the quest of the guy with the probes. And, uh, in this part, we're definitely gonna head back to the dojo at some point. But, um, as I was reviewing the footage from last time, looking for things to cut, um, I got wondering whether, um, I could get any of these if I just went down to the bottom and, you know, traded for some stuff. So one Ronin shell will get this, if I don't have to spend any cobalt crystals for it. Two sharp splitters will get this. If I don't have to trade any metal down. Okay, I can get a Ronin shell. Yeah, and that takes stuff I have plenty of. Um, Cause yeah, I had noticed that this bottom right vendor actually had relevant stuff. So yeah, we'll get it ourselves a survive. Oh, oh wait, no, the rest is how much money I'll have left. So yeah, just a cool attack upgrade to start the episode, gaining nine item levels. Not average item levels, just item levels. Alright. Also, I may have been more initially intimidated by the dojo than I should have. It occurs to me there might just be four total bugs, not four rounds of bugs. I might have misinterpreted something. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, probably won't be the last. Oh yeah, we've seen this scene before. It's just weird if they're specifically fire and shock. Uh, may need a bit to remember how they actually fight. easily block these one's attacks. Oh, I'm getting countered. Oh, I got burned while guarding. Uh, can I quickly use an item while they're spawning? That actually seems really good. Oh, for 36 seconds. Resistances of each type. Okay, we got some shock resistance. And now I want to change the wave element. Oh yeah, that's amazingly effective when you can get them horizontally lined up. The resistances are doing work. Trying to let my overcharge go down a little. Ah. Oop. Okay, I think he's far enough away that I can just eat one of the weaker items. Okay. Now I think we have this fight in the bag. Trying to react. Okay, now there's there's more. No, I didn't have enough energy. All right, I've gotta go non-elemental for a bit. That, that always catches me. I also notice I'm taking like 30% less damage on this attempt than my previous attempt. Because I believe uh, that attack that like lifts me up in the air and zaps me used to deal over 600. 
Okay, actually, it's pretty close still. Oh, right, but I have more elemental defense while I'm in neutral form, I think. Wait, that's the fire one. Hey, I actually dodged it. You want to watch for him to, like, be going through the charge up animation for a bit, not actually for the dash to start. By then it's too late. I think he also only performs it while he's got those particles around him. Oh, he got me still. Oh, wait. I was about to use an item, but the those uh, lines made me realize the battle was over. Alright, well done, Seeker. Hi? Seems nothing can phase you. Maybe you are indeed ready. You've mastered every trial I put in- er, just put in front of you. No, I. The Golden Beetles are proof of that. And you survived our little surprise, but this was not your last trial, oh no. In your last trial, you will face the guardian of this place. Speak to me if you wish to start this final test. I mean, I guess I do, right? Ready to face your final trial? Yeah. Very well. Seeker, it's time for a duel. So I'm still a little surprised we didn't fight four separate elements of enemies. Even though it was more than two waves. And also, interestingly, this guy has the same weaknesses as the enemy types we fought in the previous trial. Uh, also the same attacks, apparently. He is very dodgy, though. Oh, but that's when you get him, of course. Just like the monkey. Oh. We can pretty much just take it easy in this fire phase. Oh, guard break, right. That exists. But, like, at a time where... Oh yeah, I can already guard again. I was gonna say, at a time where it doesn't really matter if my guard is broken. Okay. That still produces its lightning bolt. He missed. Okay, that one has to be dodged, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's quickly... Oh, you can change elements while in the quick menu, but that's not what I was trying to quickly do. Make sure we've got health. Oh... Do you have to reverse the direction, or do you have to block in his direction? Whoa, the counter! That let us get a ton of damage in. I was like, I think we can just stand here and use ranged attacks and he'll die, and uh, I didn't say it out loud, because I was focusing on aiming. He does move around a lot. Achievement lock, the Dawn's Blade, for defeating the Twilight Guardian. That I would see this day a Seeker would best me in combat. It was a good fight, one you can be proud of. 
You've earned the mark of mastery, and with it, the meteor shade. Now walk through the door behind me and speak to the ones that came before to receive your prize. The ones that came before? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, hey, Apollo. It's your romancer Lee. What a coincidence. It looks like we both just passed the final trial. And also Lee. Here's Katron. Phew, that was quite troublesome. All that sword fighting is hard to handle for a mage class. Oh, I see Apollo is here as well. Phew, that guy sure was fast. Hi. Lee, you're here as well? We just keep running into each other. Bug. Bug. Samurai. Bug. Samurai. Boss. Or was he just a samurai? I'm not sure. Maybe his armor made him look kinda like a bug, except I swapped a couple words. Well, actually, traditional samurai armor is already bug-inspired, so shut up, nerd. Wait, what's everyone doing here? Did we all just pass this te quest at the same time? Looks like it. Talk about coincidence. Oh well, it certainly was the worst quest ever. And it's done! Done and over with! Congratulations, Pentafist. Now the time has come to collect our reward. Yes, yes, let's go. Your journey brought you to this forest of the eternal night. Wait, really? I guess I didn't notice. <laughs> Taking on the trials given by the creatures of these lands. You proved your vigor... Vigor? I don't actually know how that word's pronounced. Your patience, your agility, your insight. All the virtues to be held by a true envoy of change. Your accomplishments shall be acknowledged. Take the shade to open the path through the northern caves. Meteor shade obtained. Let your every step form the path of your growth. I'm guessing they had everyone here just so we can deny going to the caves with them. Anyway, Seeker, you just acquired the Meteor Shade. And with that, I'm proud to announce you've reached the very frontier of Operation Trackwalker. This is as far as humankind has walked the track. In other words, you successfully completed your objective. Congratulations. With every Seeker completing the track, we feed essential input into the ancient system, enabling us to access it further. However, we have yet to unlock its final part. Until that time comes, you are officially freed from your duty. Oh. As a reward for your accomplishments, you can now access the main city of Rhombus Square. This place provides many opportunities to further enhance your skills. And of course, your continued assistance to the community of Shadoon would be greatly appreciated. In addition, you'll sh uh, in addition, you shall receive your usual reward as well. Two circuit overrides. Seeker, you have your deepest gratitude. When the time has come to walk the track even further, we will meet again. Goodbye, and as always, stay vigilant. Solved! Overcome all the trials, got the meteor shade. Dots. Um, did we just complete the game? Sort of. We completed the track and can- and now can enter Rhombus Square. Oh yeah! <laughs> Rhombus Square came up in like the prologue, didn't it? I never quite realized we never got there. Anyway, it means we reached the end game. What? I was expecting another dungeon. Yes, and it, The company is working on it, apparently. People are hoping for an update that will complete the track. So you're telling me Crossworlds is still in early access? Complete gaming experiences really have become rare these days. You know, at least it's all coherent with the lore. Humankind simply has yet to unlock the final part of the track, and it will happen if enough Seekers run the track. Yes, yes, that's very convenient. Wait. Lee, that means Grand Chris Kajo was pretty much our last dungeon race, no? Yep. It's not counting that tutorial dungeon, we had five runs in total, and the final score of Lee vs. Emily is... 3-2. to two. That's surprisingly balanced, no? Well, it certainly was a lot of fun to do those races. Let's continue once new dungeons are added. Excitement. So, anyone want to check out Rhombus Square? Sure, why not? Where do we have to go? Back across Central, then take the south exit. Excellent. I honestly just wanted to get out of this bug-infested place, so I'll go ahead. Let's meet at Cross Central. Sounds like a plan. Alright. They all left. We did it, Lee. We got the last shade. That means we can also access the northern part of Sapphire Ridge. Hopefully we'll find the place in your dreams somewhere in that area. After all, we're running out of options. Of course, if you like, you can join the others and explore Rhombus Square first. Finding Satoshi's hideout can wait a little bit longer. 
Unlocked trophy, veteran adventurer. Wait. Okay, there's no north exit there. Yeah, let's head to... Let's see, so yeah, we can go south here now. Let's check that out. So, this is it. Is this the entrance to the city? Indeed, from here you can take the sky rail to any part of the city. There's a shopping district, a residential area, and of course, the arena. I recommend checking out the stores. The booster items are especially interesting. We'll be going then, see you around. Bye. So how about it, Lee? Should we explore the city together? Sure. Excellent, let's go. It does not hurt to have a look around the city now. Just do not forget that our next destination is the north of Sapphire Ridge. Oh, does it have to be the red ones? Oh, right, because the others are where people arrive. Uh, I was not expecting another map. That's apparently locked, perhaps until you've walked there yourself. The current location is Cross Central. Landmark discovered. Can I also just warp here with the map? No, oh, the other area was another floor. Okay, where was it? No, it exists here. Just seeing how the map connects. All right, so the shopping district was pointed out as a notable location, and our map, well, using the thing, suggested it was in this direction. No, that's not a door. No, there. No, it's locked. All those signs made me think I'd be able to buy something in there. Well, look at all these, like, perfectly regular trees. I've never seen a more regular looking tree in my life. I seem to be having little success with exploring this town. I guess it's a city. Access denied, okay. Not surprising. So the bridge collapsed, so you can't actually go that way. Hmm. Between home, it's got some residents. I'm really looking for buildings that let me do things. Hey, that's a trade symbol. Is this a guild base? Coming soon, Omni Gliders. Fan club, bring back fishing. So is this player housing? Or player buildings? I guess what's my map say? Residential district. Void passage. So there is a way up. Residential district is a dead end. Only a couple buildings it's possible to enter. Where's the building you can't enter? Or is that just a hole on the map that you can't go into? We can go in here. I was wondering if you could like stand on the blue like data streams or whatever they are, but I don't think you can. sure how you begin to try getting that chest. So is this... this might be the upper exit. Yeah, this looks a little different from where I was before. Uh, depth perception is hard. Especially with the, like, cutaway effect. Okay, I was below the chest. You look at it, you buy it. But what is there to buy? There's a book. This is a bookstore. But I don't want to just buy a book. I was hoping for, like, 
an idea of what my next equipment updates might be, or to look at those booster items that were mentioned. You know, useful things. I did kind of recently just spend most of my money on a melee weapon, of course. Missing pass. So I still can't go everywhere. I thought I could. Well, let's get this screen on our map. Arena Plaza. Let's get the arena on our map. Maybe it's a new landmark as well. Arena records and options unlocked. The arena tab in the records menu and options menu have been unlocked. No seeker, you can buy regular consumables here. Noted. Got new gear. Too bad your appearance doesn't change, no? How did you get gear at the snack store? Welcome to Rhombus Arena. Sorry, seeing as this is your first time here, would you like an introduction? Show me the tutorial. Start by selecting a cup. Each cup shows its name and the trophy you've unlocked. The info page shows a summary of your progress in a cup. Use the help menu for a detailed description of each line. Below you can see how many arena coins you've obtained. Win coins by clearing rounds in a cup with a high score. And by selecting a cup, you can see all rounds the cup includes. Each round shows its name and the medal you've achieved. To unlock a round, clear the previous one. Rush mode will pit you against all rounds without stopping and limited healing. To the left you can see a summary of your progress in each round. You also you can also see what score you need to achieve to obtain a silver or gold medal. Those are high numbers. Press left or right to see the second page, which shows bonus points and conditions. Press the bumpers to switch between single cups and team cups. Good luck in the arena. Alright, but this is recommended level 55. I am not level 55. Okay, custom cups are not available. Maybe that'll be a uh, Steam Workshop thing? From the Arena Coin Shop. Hi, here you can spend your hard-earned Arena Coins. They've got equipment and cosmetic items. Each item is only available once and cannot be sold. Items are arranged in multiple tabs. Alright, so... We've got some equipment here. we got some cosmetics. And pets! Almost a dog! Or a cat! No one knows what it says. Good boy. A very good boy to follow you around everywhere. Fluffy orange cat that follows you around. Obviously one would prioritize the equipment. This all looks like pretty quality stuff. Skates that have been sharpened to a vicious edge. Be deadly on ice. As plus three ice skater. Probably prevents you from slipping on ice? Or maybe like increases your speed on ice? Who knows? It's ice skater. And no thing in the game actually bothers to explain what it does. Oh, wait, actually. How long have you been able to do that? Makes it possible to run and perform actions on ice without slipping. Okay. Oop, I don't need double help. The killing dress! Hmm. Increases knockback from charge shots. Okay. So we've got... wait... Steady Shot also sounds ranged base. Increases damage dealt immediately after dashes. Repeated dashes further increase the damage. Interesting. They both seem more ranged focus. I was expecting like a melee focused weapon and a ranged focus weapon. Steady Shot? Decreases the... oh right. Wait, let's scope them. Alright, increases speed of aiming. So both of them have something related to aiming. See, this one gives more focus and less attack. This one has a bit more defense on it, and also more attack. I mean, the raw attack sounds pretty nice. I would probably go for two knocking ones. Oh wait, no, you can only buy each once. So yeah, it would be one of each in your optimal setup. Anyway. Um, 
Still haven't found regular market marketplace. I guess we'll look for a door that we can get through to the right. 25 minutes, wow. I burned a lot of time. Okay, landmark discovered, shopping district. This is the equipment store. These are the weapons. Uh, this is an awful interesting weapon you have here. It looks a little like I'd equip it to my head. So I mean, I've got some higher level stuff. Nothing super exciting looking, even looking at the level 59 stuff. I've, I guess I've already got like a full set of like level 54, 56 silver stuff besides this bell, which is gold quality. Okay, so where's the consumable shop? Booster, booster, booster. I read the sign. Welcome to the Boost Lounge, Seeker. Here you can acquire the booster item introduced in version 1.35-1 of Crossworlds. If this is your first visit here, allow me to explain. These traders behind me hold a booster add-on for each one of the major areas. Once acquired and turned on, enemies in the affected area will become much stronger. They also will drop rare, rare gemstones used in various trading offers around Rhombus Square. However, each trader requires a legendary item that can be found in the affected area. Is that like my neutral key or whatever? They're very well hidden. Try communicating with other players in order to locate them. Good luck and happy hunting, Seeker. Okay, perhaps not. Rise booster, fall booster, trail booster. Oh. It does require the Heaven's Seed, and as well as some other random things. So that's for Bergen Trail, of course. Yeah, I got... What was it? There was some key item I got from a quest in the area of the mines, and we've never figured out what it did. I guess I also haven't... Oh, the neutral stone! That's what I was thinking. Might one day empower your circuit? It emits neutrality. Huh. Also looks like there's an empty spot on the SP bar for getting up to 16 SP. Hmm. Well... Okay, yeah, there's no need to think about money, right? Just, just get this one. And presumably that goes on the... Finally, another thing. I mean, let's test out those empowered Bergen Trail enemies. I'm ready to immediately die. Level 59 and level 60. Okay, yeah. This is a terrible idea. Where's, like, a smaller enemy group? Just the penguin and a guy. What are penguins weak to? Fire, probably. No, they're weak to lightning. I do not wish to anger the other enemy that's present. Since this is, like, allegedly an MMO, imagine, like, trying to help a player out with an empowered enemy, not realizing what you're fighting. <laughs> and just, like, getting owned because you're actually level 20. <laughs> Did you know? Penguins like to live in temperate areas, too. In fact, only a few of them live in colder climates, and none of them lives on mountains, right? Right. Anyway, that didn't go awful, but it was a single enemy. And of course it didn't drop anything, because we didn't get our combat rank up. Actually, I wonder. Can I tell in my, um, Monster Fibula what the empowered versions can drop? See, I guess they're organic. 
Is there no like page up, page down? Just gotta go? Okay, wait. So it's got the up arrows there. It shows the higher max HP. It still has my kill count from the regular version. Yeah, it requires rank C just to get the new drop there. Requires rank C to get the new drop there. Assuming that the last item is the new drop. Even then, it only has a 12% chance. I don't think at my level I want to try farming those. I am curious about the possible trade items, though. I'm at half an hour, but let's at least look at what we might potentially be getting. It's not you, but let's... Okay, one item per body. Rules are rules. Chest detector. Emits an impulse when entering a room that contains an unopened chest. Interesting. Not quite what I was looking for. But, uh, we found another... Add-on item. That goes in our detectors category. That'll be useful if we ever decide to try to fully clean out dungeons. Or even fully clean out the outside areas. Okay, so where are the trade items? Does this area on the map? Okay, this area on the map does not have a trade icon, so it's probably in this building. Uh, this closed building. It's sure got that trade icon on the outside as well, but it sure is closed. Okay, so right now there doesn't seem to be much point to farming the empowered enemies. But we're ready to do it. Alright, well, let's disband our party. Requesting direct link with the person that's actively following you around. Hmm, interesting that they're a little lower level than the others. Do they actually gain any XP while they're with me? I guess it would make an amount of sense. So yeah, I guess next time we're headed upwards. Chest detector one. Oh, neat. That will probably go off continually when we're going through overworld areas because my cleanup has been not great. Although it didn't go off here. Am I going the right way? I think I didn't take the shortest path. Yeah, up here. I just want to go through here, and we'll explore the actual area next time. I guess I might be heading into an immediate cutscene. I'm not. Okay. I was lucky. So yeah, that's it for this part. Rip all of our money. And also, we're at a new screen, and about to go to even more new screens. See ya!